So today I have a mod installed here in the Beam and G career mode that's gonna add broken down vehicles and folks we're gonna go out and buy one and we're gonna dump a ton of money into it and hopefully make it into a true dream car. So stay tuned until the end to see if that happens. Hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. All right so here is our D series. We're back in the career mode and today uh, we're gonna go purchase a vehicle. At least I'm hoping we find a vehicle. We're gonna go on a bit of a scavenging hunt here. Uh, let's go ahead and take off. So I have a mod called the Undesirables, which I believe we've checked it out before. It adds a bunch of like bad configurations. And I was thinking to myself, if you're going to go buy used cars in Beam and or maybe you can find them in career mode, uh, why not have something like this in here to where you have to go uh, repair the cars? So the mod author has actually updated it to have the correct prices in career mode and the cars should appear uh, so I know you guys saw uh, in the previous episodes where a mod would appear and it'd be super cheap uh, the author of this mod has actually gone in and fixed it uh, with the undesirables mod so I'm hoping actually what dealership should we go to I think we're to go down by the docks uh, there's a decent dealership over there actually there's also one down by the gas station over here maybe we'll stop by there first uh, it does say that they don't always appear at each dealership so I think you're gonna have to go like car hunting oh yeah there's one right up here but yeah I want to buy us a bad vehicle I'd like to actually try to fix it and I feel like that's a little more immersive uh, than the current system which the current system isn't bad by any means I'm just saying if you can find really really poopy vehicles I like that it's bad that Komodo wants to go buy like a pile of junk right now all right so let's go up here uh, we're gonna open the dealership so here's the cars that are available none of these look like the poopy cars so it looks like we're out of luck here uh there are some decent cars for sale but i think these are a little out of our price range here by the way we bought this d series uh last episode you guys had uh, a lot of really good ideas for it and i do eventually want to upgrade it and work with it but i feel like maybe finding a really bad car uh, would be fun to attempt to repair by the way if i can't find these at the dealership we will check out some of these undesirables and we can kind of get some ideas as to uh, how this would work oh i think i uh, i think i made the wrong turn huh? let's just whip it around here uh, too bad there isn't police in the free roam i feel like that's going to be a thing in the future so uh maybe you can actually get tickets written up because uh, I know there's offenses and stuff. They know what you're doing uh, when it comes to speeding and breaking traffic laws. Okay, we are over at the next dealership. Is that a dealership too? I think both of these are. Uh, I think maybe we can go to that one. Huh? Let's go. I know you can go into Rick's Motors here. Uh, let's see what Rick's got in the inventory here today. Come on, tell me you have a poopy vehicle. I think we found a mod vehicle over here before. Uh, so we have a Bastion. Uh, looks like they're mostly... Uh, oh, here we go. Look at that. So we have this 2010 Sunburst. Oh, it's only 770. I wonder how bad of shape this one's in. All right, so picture this. Picture finding vehicles like this. Maybe they're parked out in driveways. Like, they're really bad. Like, this thing, it's in terrible. Is it missing a back window? I think it is. I swear I can just look. Oh, it is. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, this one's only $700, but this is literally a $700 car. Like, it is in bad shape the paint's in decent shape though looks like the tires are a little low uh does she start oh let's look inside uh wait what is that is that gauge always been in there it kind of looks like the gauge cluster might be a little no i think it is the standard gauge cluster um on oh, let's do a test drive here so we're gonna see if this thing actually actually cranks up uh you know it's not that bad i think it's mostly the body panels on this one you know, for 700 bucks, we could definitely upgrade this thing. I think this is a steal. Hold on, let's just try to whip it around. Could you imagine looking outside the dealership, like, say, if you're the owner, and you just see the customer uh, attempting to do donuts in the, uh, the street? Dude, okay, you know, I was always saying I wanted a Sunburst model, and for 700 bucks, this is uh, the one that I want. So let's go ahead and end the test drive. All right, purchasing information. So it just says it has uh, some troubles with it. I'm okay with that. It's 770. Uh, that's a pretty good buy. I've got 31 or almost $32,000. So let's go ahead and buy the Sunburst here. All right, so we found our first poopy vehicle. I say we continue to look here. Let's go around to maybe the next dealership and uh, see if we can find something that's like a rust bucket. Like honestly, the paint on this one's in decent shape. Folks, you wanna hear something funny? So when I test drove it, <laughs> it actually, was able to get above 22 <laughs> at least i think wait did it get over 22 maybe i didn't actually test drive it the right way 
It doesn't. Oh, and let's go into manual here. Let's see if we can get this thing to. Can I get it to go above 22? Oh my goodness. This thing is actually broken. Maybe we shouldn't buy another vehicle. Han, let's go to this dealership real quick. We'll uh, take a look at that. We might have to go run some missions, maybe some racing or something. That way we can uh, get a little extra money. This thing might be a money pit, like probably most project cars. Okay, let's go into this uh, dealership real quick. Uh, what do you got over here? Looking like there's a lot of actual decent cars in this one. Oh, dude, look at that uh, sunburst at the bottom. Like, I want our sunburst to look like that. Uh, by the way, I can afford that. But nope, that's not in the spirit of what we're doing here today. All right, I need to map out, see if we got any more dealerships here. So do you think if I engine swap this, is it like in the... I'm sure it's the engine that's pretty much dead here so i think i can afford to do that all right so i got one more dealership uh we got the one that's across from the garage by the way i just quick traveled there was no way i was going to attempt to hop on the highway and go 22 down it uh to get this thing uh over here i mean i guess it would have been a little more immersive uh doing that oh my goodness okay parking brake on shut the car off <laughs> let's open the door all right <laughs> jeez I think it's pretty rough right now, but that's got to be a part of the undesirable pack because there's no other uh, configs of sunburst like that. But there's like some stripped ones, but that one's legit broken. So uh, we know I believe it's working here. I uh, see we got a doom buggy here. Anything that looks like it's completely busted. Dang, I think we just got lucky there because like no other dealerships really have uh, the undesirables in there. I don't know how often they actually uh, maybe go back and like redo their stock. Uh, that's a good question. So we have this car. Now, we need to run some missions real quick. I want to have a big budget for this. Hey, they've already got the back seat deleted. So just put a race seat up here. All right, put a couple. And I mean, honestly, you'll be in pretty good shape. Wait, is there a navigation system in here? Oh, wait, my radio's gone. Dude, it's completely like it's been jacked. Well, maybe it never had a radio. Hold on. Does it still crank? Uh-oh. Did we kill it? Uh-oh. I don't think the car rolls anymore. Wait. What the? Okay, it's parking brakes off. Uh, reverse. Oh my goodness, it's dead. Oh, not hold it in neutral here. Oh my good, it struggles to start. Okay. Oh, is it okay? It didn't die again, did it? That was weird because normally you just hit the ignition and you're good to go. And yeah, I was getting nothing there. All right, well we better go park this one in the garage. We are gonna work on this here. But yeah, I love that this is a thing. Like, I strongly suggest if you're checking out career mode, I'll have a link down in the description to this mod. Uh, and yeah, go find some of these cars. Go fix them up. Like, this is cool. Okay, so our other vehicle's in storage right now. We're going to drive the D-Series uh, to get to a couple missions. Uh, so I say we take a couple of these on, make a little extra cash, and then we're going to dump it into that sunburst and see if we can get it up and running again. All right, so uh, we're gonna say we got a call from an old buddy here. We gotta go deliver some vehicles here. I could go do more of the police ones, which we're kind of on the evade ones, uh, the missions where you're not the police, you're actually running. And honestly, some of those are kind of infuriating. Uh, the police logic's a little weird in the game and it loves to spawn them right in front of you. Uh, when you're supposed to get out of sight. We might attempt one of them because they pay really well. Uh, but first, let's do something easy. Just make a, a, a quick buck here. All right, so this looks to be a pretty simple uh, little old job here. We're uh, delivering this old classic Burnside. I'm sure it's a priceless car here and Komodo's gonna do a good job. Uh, by the way, the map changed on the left. I don't think I've ever played this challenge before. Oh, uh, don't run into me. Classic Burnside, I probably have really, really bad brakes, and it's a big, heavy sled, so I might slide around. I'm going to have to warn the AI traffic to stay away from me. Uh, so yeah, we need to deliver this one to the racetrack. I think I get paid, it's either $2,500. Actually, am I on a time limit? You know, last time I looked for a time uh, timer in the uh, the video, I completely missed it, and I had a bunch of people screaming at me. Uh, I don't think I see a timer here. There might be a timer in the background, though, so... Uh, that might be a thing, so we want to make this as efficient as possible. Try not to- it said I could damage the vehicle, which is a little weird. Like, I would feel like this is a mission you do not damage the vehicle at all. Uh, so let's just take it over there, and let's just get paid. I need a little bit of extra cash, uh, to pump into that sunburst. Okay, we're just gonna pull in here, and I wonder what- I mean, I don't think they're gonna be racing this thing. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and deliver this bad boy off. Uh, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, a little bit of a dangerous uh, entry here into the parking lot, and I'll oh, have a nice parking job here. Boom, that was successful, right? Can I, okay, there we go. Oh, that was $1,500. Okay, these don't pay a lot of money. 
I mean, to be fair, they're easy, but I need to go get 10 vehicles. I don't have time for that today. We got paid a little bit there. We're, we're good. Okay, I guess I got to go to a life of crime here. So we're going to go ahead and highlight another one of the uh, one of the chases here. How about partner in crime? Uh, drive your criminal friend to the motel, then continue your escape. Oh, this sounds like it's going to be lovely. Okay, we're playing my not so favorite mission style, but you know what? We're going to give it a go. These pay so well. So I need to get to the motel. We got to evade the police. And oh my goodness, they start them right on top of you here, don't they? Uh, by the way, this Pesma, it's a decent car. Not the fastest thing. I, actually, Han, did we just get away from him? I mean, to be fair, they all just stopped there. Like, Han, we're out of sight. Uh, watch out for traffic, Han. Let's kind of go around. Oh, my goodness. I, I should have turned there. I didn't expect to see two cop cars on the other side here. Okay. Uh, go into some oncoming. Uh, do a little sliding. We do have civilian traffic we got to watch out for. Oh, my goodness. Where's good? Han, I think I know a place to tuck off here. So, if I go out of sight... Am I able to get away from him? I don't like how the game spawns police cars right on top of you, but if I can get away... Hold on. Does this count? Do they even know I'm in here? I hear sirens. Hold on. Okay, so my evade thing's not lighting up, which I think in these missions they just don't... Oh, I can't go up the stairs. You crazy? Okay, if we sneak out over here, let me guess. They're going to be in the street waiting on me. Hold on. Oh, it got quiet here. It got quiet. Oh, but they see... Really? Really? See, that's what I'm talking about. They, like, spot him right on you. Uh, okay. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Gotta get to the motel. Okay, we're out of sight right now. Uh, I have 10 bucks. There's one over this hill, though. Oh, they got a roadblock. Okay, let's just avoid the roadblock. I know there's an optional objective to get through the roadblocks, but... Oh, here we go. Might do it. Oh, my... <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Hold on. Go, go, go. It's still green. It's still green. It's still green. Stop here. Start. Now escape. Okay, now I can evade them. I've got a busted car! I blew it up on the curb! Oh my goodness, there's no way I'm escaping here. There's just, there's no way. I I have like, my, oh my, wait, is the engine? What is hanging out of the hood? Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, this is unbelievable. Wait a minute. Hold on, I got a, I got a chance here. I got to oh, get by that one. I could drive down in here. Am I getting followed? Hold on. Oh my, if I could pull this off, this might be one of my greatest escapes ever. All right, just keep going. Uh, nobody's... Okay, they're not coming. Okay, they're up on the... Oh, they're up on the bridge there. Okay. Oh, I can't even turn. Dude, this thing is so broken right now. Okay, just hide here. We're doing good. Oh, we're gonna get paid today. I can't believe I blew out the tire wheel on that curb back there. And boom. That was successful. Only worth 5000 Wow, I don't know how you get under the 2 minute and 20 second there. But you know what? That was good. That's an extra bit of money that we can dump into the sunburst here. Okay, my life of crime is over. Let's pull into the shop. We're going to drop the truck off here, and uh, let's pull out the sunburst. We got a lot to do with it. Okay, so we got a good question here. Can we actually fix this thing up in order to make it run? Do the electronics work on the, do my beams? Oh, those all work. Okay, hazard lights, so blinkers and all that. Like, everything's intact except for, obviously, I think the engine's pretty much done. I mean, you probably could go in there and maybe repair some parts and swap them out. Uh, depends on how the config's actually set up. Uh, but, yeah, I want to put... Let's look what we need. We need a bumper. We need a new set of wheels for sure. Uh, rear bumper, probably, like, a spoiler. Maybe some side... Oh, yeah, the side skirts are completely gone. Uh, I'd like to fix some of the inside up. Maybe change the paint on this thing. And then, of course, repair the engine. Do, like, an engine swap. Get something... Uh, powerful in here, but I think we can resurrect the sunburst here. By the way, this is how you rip off parts. Uh, it took me forever to figure this out. You guys were screaming at me in the comments about this, like, hey, Komodo, you just do this. It's all you gotta do. And I was like, yeah, uh, I gotta do, I made it like really difficult on myself. Uh, what we wanna do, I wanna go ahead and rip the engine out because obviously I think there's something wrong there. So I'm gonna put that into inventory. Uh, so we wanna have that out. What else do I wanna rip out? Let's go ahead and rip out. I can't rip out the driver's seat yet. I think I just have to swap that one. Uh, I should be able to rip out the passenger seat though. Yeah, so I can put that in the inventory. So we're gonna delete the seats, make it as light as possible. Uh, windshield, I think I'm missing, uh, one of the windows. I don't know. I, I'm assuming I can buy those. Uh, the wheels, I need to swap those out. The hood's gotta stay on. So for some reason I can take, wait, was I taking that out of the right car? Why do I have the driver's seat as an option to take out again? Uh, we'll just put that in inventory. I think we could sell these parts, by the way. All right, so we got a bit of a start. I should have the engine out of there. I think it's also showing my D15 parts too, so I need to be careful. 
Uh, okay, so let's just go ahead and buy some parts here. By the way, I always forget that you can actually purchase cars here too, which I'm pretty sure maybe we'd have a beater in here also. Uh, kind of surprised not to see one immediately. Oh, there's a lot of cars here. I wonder why there's so many here at the garage available to purchase. It's always kind of weird to me. Uh, not seeing anything that looks particular. I mean, I might have passed over something that just visually didn't look bad, but it looks like most of these are in decent condition. Okay, let's try to confirm. Did we actually... Okay, we did rip out the driver's seat. Hold on. Is the engine gone from this thing? Uh, let's go and pop that open here. Yep, engine bay is clean. So yeah, we're ready to go. We got a fresh slate. Uh, swap out the cooling and stuff. All right, so let's go look at engines real quick. Uh, so it had the one point eight liter uh, i4 in there. Uh, I want to put the 2 point liter uh, i4. I kind of wish when you install these, it didn't reset the car. Uh, but yeah, now you see that it is closed once again, but I want to go ahead and pop it open. Let's confirm. Oh, I want to put a race wheel on this thing too. Maybe a half cage in there. All right, so we got the engine in. All right, so I've got 36,000. Uh, the engine itself, wow, that was expensive. Also, if you look down, so when you engine swap in here, I always thought this is kind of neat. So when I pulled the other engine out, I think it kept the components on there. So when you add the new engine, you can see it cost me $7,300, but it added all the stock like oil pan, intake, and all that into there. So that's actually a, a neat feature that it kind of completes the package for you. Even though I do want to upgrade some of these parts, like I want a better oil pan, definitely a better intake, uh, and maybe like a race exhaust on this thing. Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade the front suspension to independent front suspension. Um, I want to put a bumper on here. By the way, electronic uh, stability and traction control. I like that as an option. Uh, don't necessarily always use it, but it's nice to have that. Okay, definitely want a race exhaust. I want this thing to sound good when it's uh, ready to go. How much have we spent? We spent 11k on it so far. We got plenty of money here, uh, so I don't think we're having any issues. Uh, let's see, front bumper. Um, do we want to go with the sport one here? Uh, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, it's kind of amazing that the paint was really good on this one. All right, so we got the front bumper. Let's go ahead and move to rear bumper. Uh, what do we have? There's a the S. You got the RS. What's the RS bumper look like? I like that. It's got like a, a little diffuser down there. So uh, digging that. All right, definitely want to put some uh, good front uh, race brake pads on there. And I think I need to actually also adjust... Uh, was it the brake? No, that's the line lock. Hold on. Let's go down. Oh, the driver's seat. I uh, better go ahead and get that while I'm looking at it. Uh, let's go race seat. There we go. So we got that in there. I, I want to get a roll cage in here too. Wait, can I put a lip on this? Hold on. What does the lip look like? Uh, there's like a little carbon fiber lip. Oh, that's pretty cool. You know what? I'm going to install that. Like I said, dealing with a lot of money here. And then I want to update the front brakes. I, I definitely want race brakes. We have the pads in there too, so those are updated. Okay, let's go and get a new set of wheels on here. Uh, not really too particular about my wheels. I'm not really a big fan of silver, but anything else is pretty good. Not gonna lie, I, I kind of like these here. Uh, let's see, these are, yeah, this is your 17 by eight. I actually like this set of wheels. I need to put them on the rear too. Uh, I actually like the uh, the rim set there too. I like that a whole lot. By the way, I could put glass in here. So that was the rear left door glass, this one here. Uh, install that. There we go. So we repaired the windows. So we got that. Uh, let's go and get those tires and wheels on the back too. Okay, got the correct wheels on. Uh, let's go ahead and do the roll cage in here. All right, so we got uh, pretty close to a full race car. All right, we need side skirts. What are we at right now? We're at 27,000. Wow, it was a lot uh, to get this thing ready to go. Oh, we need to install a radio. Actually, uh, so we got an empty spot. If I put a nav unit in there, does it actually stick it in that spot? Oh, it does. So there we go. We installed a nav unit. So the interior kind of looks <laughs> back to normal. Okay, we definitely want some side skirts. I guess we'll put the RS side skirts on there. Yeah, it's setting pretty sweet. I mean, there's a pretty big difference. Oh, I didn't realize that the right front mirror or the right rear mirror is gone. The little side one. What the heck? By the way, I want to put the RS turbocharger on here. So that's going to be almost six grand there. Oh my goodness. That got really expensive. I don't even know if I can afford the mirror right now. I mean, it's a project car and a half. I couldn't put my, my wing on. There's some more suspension components I want to do. I didn't get to update the rear brakes on here. Uh, we got the race uh, front brakes. Wow, it was good that we did those missions. This actually got expensive, especially when you have to like uh, put like a new engine. Now, I do have parts. Hold on. Let's purchase these real quick. So we got that set up there. Can I just go in here and sell some inventory parts? 
Uh, I do hope some of these menus get changed a little bit. So if I go to my parts, yeah, see, I have a lot of these uh, in here and it shows what vehicle they belong to. And I've got certain things uh, that I probably don't need. So yeah, I need to figure that out. Uh, maybe we could sell off some parts on other vehicles, but we got to try this thing. Uh, let's just open it up. I mean, the interior is uh, definitely nicer. We got our nav unit in there. We got the roll cage in. Uh, she's looking pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and close it up. Got all the body panels on. Uh, got new wheels on it. Let's crank it up. Hopefully this one doesn't blow like the other one. I didn't, unfortunately, get to update the cooling, so don't want to drive her too rough here. I mean, we'll probably go for a little highway run. But, man, this is so neat being able to do this. Like, we just took a car that we bought for 800 bucks. <laughs> we poured way too much in it because we could have bought a new one. But it's just the whole fact that you could do this. Uh, she's looking pretty good. All right, we're going to have to turn off that traction control when we get to the highway. I like having it as an option because sometimes I do like to use it. Uh, I know most people will be like, yeah, you don't need that. Uh, also, let's see how she handles. I mean, she corners pretty good. I don't know about the wheels that are on here. Oh, my goodness. Or the tires. Um, I might have to swap those out, too. But here we go. Let's go ahead. I think this is where we blew up our bastion that one time. <laughs> Hopefully, that's not what we're doing here. All right, here we go. Oh, we're getting wheel spin. That is lovely. Okay, watching the cooling. Uh... Actually, I don't know what transmission was in there. I've got, I've got a really bad sway here. Dude, there is something like weird in the front end of this car right now. Like it does turn well, but going down the straights, uh, definitely think we need to do some suspension work because it's really, really dodgy. Like it's twitchy. Uh, I haven't actually felt this in a vehicle in this game. I mean, it just kind of shows that, you know, being able to piece together a vehicle, like you're going to get results like this. My goodness. Okay, we're trying not to wreck it. I want to get it out to the highway and see if we can do a speed run with it. Uh, so let's go ahead and head down here. Uh, oh, buddy. I hope they had some street racing in here. Like, being able to, like, challenge the AI to races. And kind of like a Need for Speed style thing. Like, I feel like that'd be cool. Like, I'm all for circuit racing, too. Uh, utilizing the racetrack. But I feel like doing some, like, highway racing and stuff would be cool. All right, here we go. Uh, we are wide open here. Shaking a little bit. Yeah, it's dodgy. Something in the rear end. Like, I upgraded some stuff in the front. It's got an independent front suspension. Uh, but I think the rear... Like, oh, yeah. Actually, it's cambered in back there. I might just need to go into the tuning menu and maybe do some adjustment in there. But she's pretty fast. Uh, we're at 150 right now. Uh, cooling's work. It is getting a little up there. All right, so it tops out at about 154. I mean, it didn't explode like the time we put the supercharger on the Bastion. Oh, my goodness. Okay, brakes are they're decent. Uh, you definitely tell the fronts are doing better. The back is just swaying around. So definitely need to do some adjustment back there. So we need to upgrade the rear suspension. Like to get a wing on it. Maybe adjust a little more power into it. And definitely need to maybe adjust the cooling. But I feel like we have a pretty good start here. And it certainly runs better than it did earlier, does it not? But yeah, let me know what you guys want to see next here in the BMG Career Mode. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys next time.